Fatima and her three-year-old son just arrived in Canada after escaping Taliban-controlled Afghanistan. But their newfound freedom came at a price. <laughs> Leaving Afghanistan was the hardest decision, she says. We're protecting her family's identity because Fatima's brother, Abdul, was an interpreter with the Canadian military. As the Taliban advanced in August, Abdul received approval to move his family from Kandahar to Canada. But they arrived at the airport to this. The family waited outside the gates for two days. When they finally reached the entrance, the Canadian military told Abdul there wasn't enough room on the plane for everyone. They said, no, we cannot take your whole family, we can take only your siblings. So they faced a heart-wrenching choice. Fatima and her son were allowed to board, but her husband and the couple's five-year-old daughter were forced to stay behind in Afghanistan. Leaving was very hard, she says. My daughter was crying after me, and my son was crying after his father. Fatima told herself it was the right decision, that her son was safe, and hopefully her husband and daughter would be on the next flight. But the following day, ISIS-K terrorists attacked the airport, killing dozens, grounding flights, and forcing Fatima's husband and daughter into hiding. I can't eat or sleep, she says. I feel empty inside. I miss my daughter and my husband. Hello, come on in. We met Fatima's husband in Kabul, where he and his daughter have been moving between safe houses for three months. They applied to go to Canada in August, but haven't received a response. Our five-year-old is crying every day for her mother, he says. The situation here is not stable or safe for us. This was, you know, a delicate situation that should have been handled appropriately, and it wasn't. This Canadian ex-Special Forces officer was at the airport in August as the Taliban took control. His private security firm has been working to rescue Afghans with Canadian visas, but those evacuations have now stalled. Canada's approval process is slow, and there are few safe routes out of the country. All these families that are just waiting now, it's hard. Waiting and praying the Taliban doesn't find their loved ones left behind. It's my family. I worked with Canadian forces, and they are paying for it. Jeff Semple, Global News, Kabul, Afghanistan.